Hey everyone, Sean Watase here back with another video and in today's video, we're going to be going over how to add smart wallets to your very own Web3 game in Unity. We're going to be going over how simple it is to add smart wallet capability to your Web3 game. So an overview of what we're going to be covering in this video, we're first going to prepare a few things that we need to set up smart wallets for our Unity game, like an account factory contract. We'll also deploy our very own NFT collection as a test collection to claim within our game. We'll then jump into Unity and set up our Unity game and configure our smart wallets. And then we'll deploy our Unity game as a native game to our desktop and we'll test it out. And with all of that being said, let's jump on our computer and let's get started. So on my computer here, I have a demo of the Unity game that we are going to be building. We just have a connect wallet button here in the top right. And when we click on it, we can connect our different wallets. We have a smart wallet option here, which is an ERC4337 wallet. When we click on that, it's going to generate a local wallet under the hood and use that local wallet as our EOA wallet to our smart wallet. So you can see here, I'm actually connected to a smart wallet account that was generated for us. Because this was a new wallet that was generated, I don't have any Matic or anything in this wallet, but we are using smart wallets, which allow us to use functionalities like gasless transactions. So I won't need any funds here in order to execute a blockchain transaction. So here you can see once we're connected, we have a claim button and we have the balance of NFTs owned by this wallet. So if I hit claim, you can see here we are claiming an NFT. This is actually executing a claim function on the blockchain right now for us to claim this NFT. And once the NFT is claimed, you can see it's getting our new balance here and our new balance is now updated to five. So you can see with the power of smart wallets in a Web3 game, a user can have a wallet and everything all built into the game. They don't need to leave the game in order to sign transactions to execute things on the blockchain. Everything can seamlessly happen within game like you're normally used to when playing Web2 versions of games. So before we jump into Unity, let's prep a few things that we'll need in order to configure our smart wallet. So heading to my browser here, I'm going to go to thirdweb.com, connect my wallet here, and we're going to then head over to contracts. We're going to deploy a new contract. And with smart wallets, we're going to need something called an account factory contract. Now you can deploy one here. It may be in the popular section. If you don't see it there, you can scroll down till you see smart wallets and you'll see the account factory in here. So we'll select account factory. We'll hit deploy. We'll select the chain that we want to deploy the smart contract to. We'll confirm the transaction. Then we'll sign here to add it to our dashboard. Once that has been added, we're going to copy the contract address of our account factory contract here because we'll need that when we create our Unity game. And you can see here in our account factory contract, uh, if we go to accounts here in the left tabs, you can see we don't have any smart accounts generated yet in our account factory contract. Once we connect our wallet and claim an NFT, we'll be able to see our accounts generated right over here. So we'll come back to this dashboard right after we are done building our Unity game. The other thing we're going to need is an API key. So you can come up to the settings tab here. And in the settings tab, you can see API keys here. If you haven't generated an API key before, you can just create one here. If you have one, you can just copy your client ID and that's what we'll need for our API key when we start using smart wallets in our Unity game. For more information on ThirdWiz API keys, we'll drop a link to a video down in the description below that you can check out if you wanna learn more and learn how to create your very own. Next, what we're gonna do is deploy our very own NFT collection and we're just gonna use this as a test collection that we can claim within our Unity game. So I'm gonna come back to contracts here. We're gonna hit deploy a contract and I'm gonna deploy an addition drop, which is an ERC 1155 token. We're gonna to hit deploy. I'm gonna come up here and give it a name. We'll just say Unity Test Collection. To test, uh, we have an image here that we'll use. We just have this little monster. And then we're gonna select the same chain here. So I'm gonna deploy this to Mumbai and hit deploy now. We'll confirm the transaction. We'll sign to add it to our dashboard. Once that's deployed, we'll head to the NFTs tab here and we're just gonna single upload an NFT. We'll just call this monster one. We'll put in an image and we will lazy mint this here. Confirm that transaction. And we'll go into that NFT. We'll set a claim condition and we'll make sure that the claim is free and that we'll leave it to unlimited. So we'll just save that there. Confirm that transaction. 
And once that's saved, we'll copy that collection uh, contract address as well, because we'll use that within our game. So we have everything set up. We deployed our very own account factory contract. We deployed our very own test NFT collection, and we created an API key that we're going to use. All of this is going to be what we need to set up our smart wallets in our Unity web in our Unity game, as well as test out the functionality. Next, you'll open up Unity Hub here. We'll create a new project. We'll call this Unity Smart Wallet. I'm gonna create a 3D core project here and hit create project. We'll wait till the Unity editor opens. And once your Unity editor has opened, what we'll have to do is get a copy of the Unity SDK. If you already have one, you don't need to follow this. If you already have it, you don't need to follow this next step, but you can head on to our release page for the Unity SDK. We'll add this down in the description below. You can download the latest version of the SDK. As of this recording, it is version 3.3. So we're going to come here, download the Unity SDK here. I'm going to head back to Unity and I'm going to import this package. Then I'm going to select the Unity SDK package we just downloaded, hit open, and we are going to make sure everything is checked off and import. Once imported, you'll see in your project section under assets, you'll have a third web folder. And what we're going to first do in our scene is add the third web manager. So in the third web folder under the core here, and we go to prefabs, we're going to select this third web manager prefab. We're going to drag it into our scene here. And when we select the third web manager prefab, let me open the inspector panel here on the right. We're going to set up a few things. So the first thing is our general settings is going to be our active chain. Uh, we deployed everything to Mumbai. So I'm going to select the active chain here as Mumbai. We're going to have to add our client ID. So let me just copy my client ID here, paste it in. Next, let me uncheck that. We're going to head to smart wallet options. You'll see here, smart wallet option. The first thing we're going to have to provide is the factory address. So let me copy the factory address here, paste that in. And then we're gonna check off a gas list because we wanna make sure that with these new wallets being generated, they're not gonna have any funds in it. So we're gonna cover gas in this demo. Uh, that way we can claim an NFT. And that does it for the third web manager. Again, we just configured everything we needed to configure to make sure smart wallets can work within our application. Next thing we're gonna do is in our scene here, we're going to right click and create a UI component and we're gonna select canvas here. I'm gonna name this as our menu. And within our canvas named menu here, I'm going to come into my third web folder down here in my projects. I'm going to come over to example here and I'm gonna to come to prefabs. And within these prefabs, we should have a prefab for connect wallet. You can see up here in the top right. I'm gonna click and drag that into our menu. And if we take a look at our game here, let me just spin this around. So you can see right here in our menu, we have our connect wallet button. I'm gonna select menu. I'm gonna to go to the inspector really quick and I'm gonna change the canvas scaler to scale with screen size. I'm just gonna make this 1920 by 1080. And there you go. We have our menu right over here and with our connect wallet in the top right. So if we select that prefab button here, you can see in our inspector, we have a few options that we have that we can configure within our connect wallet. Uh, we can set up the wallets we want to support here. So by default, we have all these wallets listed, uh, but we can get rid of a few of them by selecting them and just hitting this minus here. So what we can do here is we'll just get rid of everything and we'll leave a smart wallet and we'll just leave MetaMask there as well. Below that, you can see we have a personal wallet. So this is the EOA option if you are using smart wallets. So by default, it is set up to a local wallet, which will generate a wallet locally on the user's device. It'll use that wallet as the EOA wallet to access the smart wallet. But in here, you can also choose from the list of other wallets that we had, so MetaMask, Coinbase, Wallet Connect, etc. cetera. Uh, but we'll just leave it at local wallet here just for this tutorial. So coming back here to our game, we'll just play this right here in our editor. And you can see right here, we have our connect wallet button. If we click on it, we can select MetaMask or Smart Wallet. 
we collect smart wallet. Again, it's generating that local wallet under the hood and then it is connecting us to our smart wallet. So you can see here, a smart wallet was created for us. This is our wallet address and we have no funds right now in our smart wallet. All right, and then to explain a little bit about smart wallets. So if we take a look back at our account factory contract, if you remember the accounts tab here, I had mentioned that an, an account would be generated uh, when a smart wallet was created. And we signed into our smart wallet, but you can see here in our account factory that we don't have any accounts just yet. And this is because a smart account isn't going to be deployed until it is manually deployed or it has to go through a transaction and execute a transaction. And during that first transaction execution, it'll actually be deployed at the same time. But what does that mean for games? Even though a smart account hasn't been deployed, we can still utilize the wallet address and still send NFTs to that wallet address. And sending NFTs won't require that the account is deployed, but that address can still receive things like tokens and NFTs. So we'll go through this example really quick and show you that we can still own NFTs in account that isn't deployed. And we'll also go through executing a claim for an NFT showing you that the account gets deployed as well. So coming back to our Unity editor here really quick in our menu. Oh, let's stop playing this real quick. In our menu here, we're going to add a UI component. Uh, we're just going to actually, we're going to add an empty here. And this empty is just going to be called a connected state. We'll just put that above our connect wallet button here. And we'll select our menu canvas again. And we're going to add a component. We're going to add a new script. We'll call this our menu script. And we'll create that. We're going to right click here and edit script to open this up in our code editor. And in here, we're going to set up a few things so we can start interacting with the blockchain. So first thing here, we're going to say using a uh, third web and we're going to create a reference to our connected state. So we're going to say uh, public game object and we're going to call this one connected state. And at first, uh, so on start, when our game is first starting, we're going to set the connected state dot set active to false. It's coming back to our editor here in our script. We now have this connected state. So we're going to drag this here and drag it right into our connected state there. So what we're going to do is create a function that shows our connected state once our wallet has been connected. So coming back to our code editor here, we're going to create a new function down here. It's going to be a public void and we're going to say on connected. So on connect here, what we're going to do is we're going to change connected state dot set active to true. And if we come back to our co our unity editor here under menu in connected state, we're actually going to right click and add a UI component. We're going to add a text mesh pro here. We'll call this our NFT balance text. And we'll just make this a little bit bigger here and we'll move it down a bit. We'll make sure this is centered and we'll just call have this a balance for now. So this connected state should only show once we have our wallet connected. So coming to our wallet connect prefab, you'll see that we have event callbacks here and we can call our connect function when the wallet is connected. So we'll hit a plus here. We're gonna drag our menu into here and we're gonna select our script from our menu script called on connect. So if we shrink this down a little bit and we come back here and we run our game, you can see we won't see the balance text at first because our connected state is set to false. But once we connect a wallet here, you can see our wallet is connected and we now see that balance text. We'll do the same for when we disconnect. Uh, we'll make sure that that disappears as well. So coming back to our studio, our code editor here, we're gonna do a public void on disconnect and on disconnect, we're gonna set it back to false. We'll come back to our connect wallet prefab and then on the disconnect, we'll do the same thing. We'll hit the plus button and then we'll get our menu canvas here. We'll select our menu script and we'll do on disconnect. So if I run our game here one more time, you can see when we connect to our wallet, we get our text to appear here. And when we disconnect, it disappears. So now that we have that set, 
uh, let's display our token balance right over here. And now that we have that set, let's display the NFT token balance of this wallet here. So let's go back to our connected state here and we're gonna click on our menu. So we're gonna have to reference this text right over here of our balance. So coming back to my code editor here, we're going to create another public. This one is going to be a tm pro dot text mesh pro UGUI and this is going to be called our balance text. We'll save that and we'll come back to our Unity editor here. You'll see in our menu script, we now have that area for balance text. So we'll just, oops, we'll grab our balance text, drag that in there. And now we'll be able to set the balance here. So what we're gonna do next is head back to our code editor here. We're gonna create a function to get the balance or the NFT balance of the connected wallet. So we're going to create a public async void here. This is going to be called get NFT balance. And to get our NFT balance, we'll first have to get an instance of our contract. So we're gonna get our contract here. We'll name it contract. And to get this, we are going to use our third web manager. We're going to get an instance of our SDK first, and then we're going to use the get contract, and we're going to get the contract of our con of our NFT collection that we're going to get the balance of. So let me get the, that NFT collection contract address, paste that in there. Then we're going to get the owned NFTs. So we can create a variable here called owned NFTs. And what we're gonna do is await our contract and we're gonna specify it is an ERC 1155. And we are going to get owned. This is gonna get our owned NFTs from this contract that uh, are owned by our wallet that is connected to our application. Then we're going to get the NFT balance and we're gonna get the NFT balance of the first NFT or token ID zero since it's the only NFT that we have in our collection. So we're just gonna get owned NFTs. We're gonna get the first token, which is token ID zero. And we're going to say quantity owned. Then we're going to set the balance text dot text. And that is going to equal the NFT balance and we're gonna convert that to a string. And now what we're gonna do is on this on connect function we created, we're also going to call the get NFT balance. So when we connect our wallet, we'll set the connected state to true and we'll check the balance and change that balance to the proper amount. So coming back to our Unity editor, we're going to just open this up. We're gonna run our game here. So when we connect our wallet, what we should see is zero because we don't own any of the NFTs yet. And actually, uh, because we don't own any of the NFTs, let's come back to our code editor here. We'll say if owned NFTs count equals zero, uh, we will then change the text to zero and return. Uh, but if we do have a owned NFT, then we will then get the quantity. Uh, just because if we don't have any owned NFTs, we don't have anything in our array of owned NFTs, so we're gonna get an error. So we'll come back to our editor here. Let us stop this, we'll run it again. We'll hit connect wallet. We'll connect smart wallet here. And you can see here that our balance is zero. Like we were talking about before, we can actually send things to this wallet address here and not have that wallet address actually deployed. So no one needs to pay for the deployment of this wallet address until this wallet actually does an on-chain transaction. So I'm gonna copy this wallet address here really quick. If we take a look back at our contract, you can see we still have no accounts, right? We still don't have anything deployed to our account factory address here. What we're gonna do here, we're then gonna to come to our test collection. We're gonna to come to our NFTs here. We're gonna select this. We're gonna claim one. Uh, we're gonna claim it to our wallet address of our smart wallet. But I'm claiming it with my MetaMask wallet here. So I'm gonna hit claim. We'll confirm this transaction here. And you can see our NFT has been claimed. So if we come back here, we should see a supply of one now. And if we come back to our Unity editor, let's stop running this. We'll run it one more time. You can see when we connect a wallet now, so we'll connect our smart wallet. 
you'll see our balance here and our balance should now turn to and our balance should now turn to one because this wallet owns one nft because we just sent it an nft we come back to our account factory contract here you can see there is still no smart account deployed so Again, this means that we can still send things to these wallet addresses, even though they aren't deployed, we'll still be able to read if that wallet address owns NFTs or tokens or other assets. But a great use case, especially if you're developing a Web3 game and you don't wanna pay for a deployment of every account that is created. So now let's create an actual button within our game that will allow this smart wallet to actually claim an NFT. And through that claim, it will actually get the smart account deployed. So here back in my code editor, actually we'll go back to our Unity editor here. We're gonna stop running this. We're going to add a few things into our game. So within our connected state here, I'm gonna right click, add a UI component. I'm gonna add a button. We'll call this a claim button here. And we're, I'm gonna right click in the connected state again, add one more UI component and add a, another text. We'll call this status text. The status text, we will move this up. We'll just stretch this out a bit. Center our text. We'll say status. We'll actually leave it as a empty text field here. Our button, we will come into our button here. In drop down, we'll change the text here. We'll change this to uh, claim NFT. We'll select the button, we'll make it a bit bigger. And then we'll have to create a reference to our text in our script. So we're gonna come back to our code editor here, come up to the top, we're going to do create a public tmpro.textmeshpro here again. This is going to be called again, uh, status text. And we'll add in our on connect here. We'll change our status text text to connecting. And once it is connected, we'll change this status text to updating balance. And once it has updated the balance, we will change the status text uh, just to a empty string again. On disconnecting, we'll change the status text to disconnecting. And once it has disconnected, we will change the balance text to an empty string again. And then we'll change the status text to an empty string as well. When we're getting the NFT balance, we're gonna change the status text up here to getting NFT balance. And at the end, we will change the status text to a empty string. Then we need to create a function to claim our NFT. So we're gonna create a public async void here. This is going to be called claim NFT. We'll first set the status text to claiming NFT. We'll get an instance of our contract again. So contract, contract, this is going to equal our third web manager instance.sdk. We'll get our contract again. We'll then await our contract, specify it's an ERC 1155. And we're going to call the claim function here which we need to give it a string of the token ID we're looking to claim, which is zero. And then the quantity of that NFT we wanna claim. In this case, we're just gonna claim one when the button is pressed. Once it's claimed, we'll set the status text to NFT claimed. And then we will run get balance to update the balance of our NFT. So coming back to our Unity editor here, if we hit the menu here, we're going to have to give it our status text. So we'll just drag that right over here. We'll then select our claim button here and we're going to have to scroll down until we see the on click. We're gonna add an on click function. We're gonna get our menu, drag it into that object there. We're going to go to our menu script and we're going to select our claim NFT function. So now when we run our game, you can see we have nothing on our screen here. We connect our wallet, we'll connect a smart wallet here. 
Once we have connected, you can now see we show our balance. We show our button here to claim an NFT. Again, we have no funds in this smart wallet here. That's because we had just generated it, but we do have gasless transactions enabled, which means we can claim this NFT, not have to pay gas, not have to sign any transactions, and we'll test that here. So we will again claim NFT. You can see we are claiming our NFT right now. This is actually also deploying our smart wallet here at the same time. So after this, we should have our two NFTs in our wallet along with a deployed smart wallet account to our account factory contract. And there you go, we have claimed our NFT. So you can see here, we have two NFTs here now instead of one. So if we take a look back at our contract, we can see our test collection. We now have a supply of two. We also can go back to our account factory contract and we now see that we have a total account of one, which is our wallet right over here, because we, again, we, we executed a transaction, which meant that this wallet would now be actually deployed. So we can actually take a look at it if we click in it here. This is going to open up our account contract. And if we take a look at our balance here, we'll see that this doesn't have any balances. And if we look at our NFTs owned, you can see that we have our monster NFT right over here that we own. And there you go. We now have experience and learned a little bit more about smart wallets, how to set it up in Unity, and how we can claim NFTs using and enabling features like gasless transactions and really abstract away the Web3 complexities out of our Web3 game. Going back to our Unity editor here, I can open up our build settings. We'll build this for our native device here. I'm running this on a Mac, so I'm going to just target a Mac OS here. Uh, we're going to open up player settings. I'm going to keep this to a windowed screen here. We'll keep it at 1080. And I'm going to go ahead and add this open scene and we're going to build and run our game. So I'll just call this our Mac demo here and save it, we'll save that. And right here we have our game running natively on our device. So you can see we have our connect wallet. We can select smart wallet. We then connect to our smart wallet. Uh, our balance here will show up, which is two. We have our claim NFT button so we can claim another NFT here and we should see our balance increase to three. Again, we have smart wallet capabilities and features enabled, allowing us to have gasless and signless transactions. And once we claim our NFT, we can see we're getting our NFT balance here and we now have three NFTs. So there you have it. This was a video going over how to set up smart wallets for your Web3 Unity game. And we've covered some of the features and benefits of using smart wallets, being able to generate a wallet address for a user, send them NFTs and not have to pay for a deployment cost of that smart wallet until that account actually executes a transaction. But I hope you folks found some value in this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on videos just like this. And if you haven't joined our community of amazing builders just like yourself, we'll add a link down to our Discord server down below in the description. If you have any questions or you need any support, you can open up a support ticket and our support team will be happy to help you out. But again, I hope you folks enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see what amazing Web3 games you're able to build with smart wallets. And until next time, see ya.